Huyo chochu wako ni wale wa kuosha, wale wa kufunga pambas ama Eh ni wale wa kufunga pambas hana breath but um, but hapendi hapendi pambas kipi anaelewa sana hakuna shida nikimvalisha pambas ana sisi ni sema aje ni ita aje kwa YouTube <laughs> yani uko uko sasa nyingine kuna kuwa na shida na na kuna mara sasa so, inabidi unapinda ukimpanguza na pambas hizo diet hizo ni zinaitwa aje hizo ni wet wet diet kwa sababu zinaitwa aje hizo za watoto sasa so, unapinda unampanguza panguza sasa so, mimi humwachilia tu Hey, ana susu tu nikitoa na susu juu sasa na muhurumia pia kuchukua kuna kila sana sasa ta mara kichwa mara mkono tena nianze tena mara huku chini sinaona ni kwa mtu mmoja ni ngumu Hi team the Ivano TV welcome back to the studio again we are here and guys i hope you are doing well wherever you are watching our channel from so guys we are due to subscribe in case you are new to our channel this channel is all of, about golf golf hi family hi brothers and sisters so guys today we have a guest she is at saudi arabia she is sharon look my name is sharon queen k a kenyan girl currently working in saudi Okay, Sharon. Mm, I'm a caregiver. I'm taking care of a 95 year old woman and I love my wife. Uh, uyo, uyo, shosho wa 95 years old ako na bwana ama ako single tu? Ati <laughs> yako single. Yako <laughs> single. Oh, kwa hivyo hakuna si eti unaangalia unamwangalia na unaangalia bwanake. So unaangalia tu mshushu peke yake. Eh bwana alikufa 25 years ago. Okay. Alafu huyo shusho ana as in anajiweza ni wale wanajipikia wanajie wanajitembeza ama ni wewe unafanya hizo kazi. Huyo shosho wangu ni mzee mle mnajua 95 mtu wameisha so ni mimi nafanyia everything haji yezi Alafu uh, tumesikia pale ukisema ati tukuombe sana sijui kwa nini unasema tukuombe Eh hey, mniombe si hiyo kazi ni ngumu mnajua <laughs> Alafu shosho anaendelea aje Shosho hako, tunasaidiana na yeye, na mpeleka cho, ajiezi, na mpia, mocha, na mpea takula. Na saive nye unaongea hivyo wa melala ama? Saive nye unaongea hivyo ni mbonjwa since last week. So wako mtuliche kofi, like three days hivyo. So nangoja arudi niendele na kazi. Woi, kwa hivyo saa hii yako hospitali yako admitted. Mm, saa hii yako hosi, yako na shida, hana kidini moja, side moja ifanyi. So tu, mostly anakaa hosi, anakuja, anakaa hosi, anakaa hosi. So hali yake si mzuri, ni mtu yako weak. Aja, kwa hivyo wana kidi ni moja na shida yake inakuanga nini ama tu ni hiyo uzee sio sio ugonjwa uzee plus kidi moja it fail plus side moja side moja inafanya side nyingine ifanye alafu ako na shida ya tumbo tumbo pia ilifura so siwezi jua sana shida iko kwa tumbo but najua tu kidi ni moja it fail side moja it fail wa yani maanisha ako na stroke I think so Ni sometimes kufika mgu moja yezi ani ya yezi hata inuka ani hata mkona yezi inuka sometimes kufanya kuinuka so ni kama ako na shida saidi moja ya nyakidu ni ilifei kama kuna shida huko mostly analianga huko yuvo kila kikuwa mgonjo analianga ni kia yu saidi ya na shida so sayi ako hosi ako admitted Wa na saa venye yako hospitali saa hii unasikia aje yani Nasikia vibaya sasa sisi nimemzoea hata kama kazi ni ngumu 
nimemzoea na kama hayuko kazi sasa napewa kazi nyingi mara wote macho mara sijifu kuna hii so kama hako pia naona ananisaidia sometimes huyo chocho wako ni wale wa kuosha wale wa kufunga pambas ama eh hey, ni wale wa kufunga pambas hana bread but um, but hapendi hapendi pambas pia naelewa sana hapo na shida nikimvalisha pambas ana si ni sema aje ni ita aje kwa youtube <laughs> yani uko uko sasa kunakuwa na shida na kunakuwa mara sasa so, inabidi unafinda ukimpanguza na pambas hizo diet hizo ni zinaitwa aje hizo ni ni wet wet diapers ama zinaitwa aje hizo za watoto So una kinda unampanguza panguza so mimi humwachilia tu eh hey, ana susu tu nikitoa na susu juu sasa namuhurumia pia kutikuna kuna kila sana sasa ata mara kichwa mara mkono tena nianze tena mara huku chini si unaona ni kwa mtu mmoja ni ngumu so wanamuelewa na sasa Sharon, huyo shosho wako ukimlalisha mahali hivi ana, anaweza kujipindua ama ni wewe huo unaenda kumpindua? Namsaidia kupenduka, ananiita tu anasaidia kupenduka hii side nyingine. Lakini kifila amechoka sometimes tu anachoka anaogopa kuniambia juu, ana feel anamsumbua. Naenda na mwamsha na mwambia penduka hii side nyingine. Yaani si hata wewe ukilala side moja unaamka shingo imeangalia huko eh hey, so wana pima masana ona amilala sana huku pia namuonyesha na mwambie angalia huku eh hey, na tunasaidiana hivi oh kwa hivyo unajua kumuongelesha na Kiarabu ama anajua Kiingereza oh, ajui ni kidogo kidogo tu like sine nine months hapo nimejua jua kitu zenye anapenda kutaka so tunaelewana saa hii Mwanzo mwanzo ndio ilikuwa ngumu mara leta patania sijui jip moya sijui lakini saa hii saa hii nasema tunaelewana Na kuna madawa na kunywa ama maybe masindano ana nini Eh kuna madawa hata yeah, kuna madawa imejaa fridge hapa na madawa ya asubuhi akikula breakfast kuna madawa ya lunch kuna madawa ya kutaka kulala alafu ni yule mtoto anaanga usingizi so pia kuna dawa tunampea ndo afanye kulala kidogo ama mtakaa the old night kama lakini hiyo dawa tena wameletanga juzi last week baki hapo nyuma alikuwa tu anakaa the old day alali usiku mchana ndo ataenda kulala dala usiku mnakaa tu na yeye so pia inakuwa shida haja sasa mkambaia madawa za kuleta usingizi. Eh yeah, kuna dawa walileta juu. Amefika at stage akakuwa na shida ya kukohoa. Kuna outbreak juzi tu imekuwa ya kukohoa huko Saudi. So ikawa na kukohoa na kukohoa usiku wote halali. So unaona kukohoa na pia kuna shida ya kidney, mara kifua. Naona. So akaleta dawa alista halali. Owa. Na sasa hizo madawa ni wewe unampeanga ama kuna daktari huwa anakuja kumpea? Na mimi nampea daktari anakujanga tu Thursday kumfanyia check up lakini madawa mimi ndo anajua. Hata vijana zake hawajui madawa vile anafaa kupewa. Mimi ndo nampea asubuhi ni make sure hiyo ya saini amekunywa, ni make sure akitaka kukula lunch amekunywa, ni make sure akitaka kulala amekunywa. Ukompatia tena ni shida anakuwa mgonjwa sana na hizi taka agonje kange kila saa. Hmm. Na na iz, mpaka hizo za kudunga ni wewe huwa unamdunga. Mm, mimi nampea. Na sasa yeah. umesema Umesema uko na 9 hmm. months so far. Sasa ume hiyo experience ya how have you experience it as a caregiver? it somehow hard like for the first time the like three months it was hard to see kwa nimezoea unapata kumpeleka to ajisaidie hiyo ajikubwa kwa kwa nini unaelewa sijai fanya hiyo kazi na pia si kwa hata kana mtu wa si kwa hiyo design so for the first three months it was hard 
ndio unaelewa kuna kulala amekaa ndio hiyo choo ndio hiyo amesusu ana break mara mgonjwa mara anakuamsha usiku saa tisa nichane nywele mara anifanyia massage so no so for the first three months was hard but sign as asema nimezoea hata kama nachoka sometimes uchoka but nimezoea na au simuonyeshi nimechoka distakangi a feel a feel like ai sasa huyu shangala amechoka na mimi je niko hivi jinajisusulia eh so wana make sure kuna zile limit na jam huwa na jam but na jam yanga tu kwa budget sipendi kumuonyesha Okay, uh, Sharon vile ulikuwa unatoka Kenya ulikuwa unajua kama unajua kazi yake ya giver? No, no. I came as a house manager. My contract was a house manager. But vile nilifika huku nikapata vitu ziko different, nikapata ni mshosho. Now that nilikuwa nataka kazi na pia nikaangalia nyuma nimetoka ile shida ilikuwa imenitoa Kenya nilete kufanya kazi nikaona no let me just do it but mwanzo mwanzo siko naipenda ni feel vibaya mbona nikipe kufanya kazi ya nyumba nipate mtosho hmm. okay um sasa ungependa kuambia aje watu tukimalizia eh hey, mimi ningependa kuambia for the care givers let's be strong hata tulinda washosho ni kama washosho wetu mimi najua one day nitakuwa na pesa na nita niko na shosho pia labda nitataka ni mwanzi ya giver so ningetaka pia yeye afanyiwe tu vile pia mimi nafanyia huyu na pia napenda huyu mshosho juu si yeye ndo anafanya mimi niko na ama mother of one na niko na wazazi na niko na familia na pia I'm that person I was born from a humble background na ndo nikasema acha nikuje Saudi nisaidie wazazi wangu so kupitia kwa hiyo mshosho kupitia kwa kumpeleka cho kum, kumosha ndo inanipea chakula kwa meza inafanya wazazi wangu wanapata kitu mtoto wangu anasoma so unaona so mimi ningependa kuambia wenye wangataka kukuja expect anything expect being a house manager expect being a caregiver expect be any to any kazi tu huko unakuja but you utapata gani so ile nyu unapata mwanzo mwanzo kiwa ngumu jaribu ikishinda ni sawa but ukifaulu let's do it na ninapenda wewe mtoto pia at least amefanya niko na company na kaa na ye bedroom na lala na ye ni kama tu mtoto wangu Nimemaliza ama niongeze. <laughs> Ongezea tu kama uko na nyingine. <laughs> si ndio, so ndo naambia the viewers who will watch this video tujikaze kama labda unakaa na au wengine wanaitwa grandfathers. Tujui, unajua mshoshoni mshosho sasa au wengine. Watunza kama ulipata mtoto ako na disability, tuwatunze you never know you your future pia utakuwa mgonjwa labda utakuwa mshosho mtoto wako atakuwa na pesa atakuandikia msichana expect her to do for you vile pia we unafanyia huyo so tuwapende tu sometimes huwa nafika mahali pia nachoka nasema ai sasa mbona nilikuja naanza kujiblame but pia nasema no nisionyeshe huyu mshosho ama sometimes mshosho huwa ananishika ananiambia ah binti Yaani ananiuliza umechoka umechoka na nini? Ati mbona nakaa hivi? Mimi namwambia hapana uko tu sawa na namwambia kesho utapona. So, tujikaze tu na kazi. Hakuna kazi nzuri, hakuna kazi mbaya na pia tusichague. Bora ile kazi inakupea kitu kwa meza, inakunishia mtoto, inakusomeshia. Let's do it. Eh, na ninapenda kazi yangu hata kama iko na challenges. I love it. <laughs> so guys you have had it all from our guest Sharon uh, Queen K you can go to her YouTube channel so show some love there you will like uh, her video
because she normally does an interview in case you want her to host you you can go there and reach her in case you want me to connect you with sharon queen k i can i can give uh, uh her contact to you so guys we are going uh, to end uh, our show from there and we love you and bye 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 Kujambo mpenzi mtazamaji wa Ivano Channel. Karibu tena katika channel yetu ikiwa ni siku nyingine tena Mwenyezi Mungu ametujalia uhai na uzima ili kuendelea kupigania haki za wanaodhulumiwa hasa nchi za Saudia na hasa hasa jinsi ya kike. Karibu.